Greetings. And welcome to another raw vlog. Okay, this time lit by glorious daylight. In today's episode, how to properly corner a bowl. Nope, I'm just kidding. Today, we're going to talk about something that's on the top of everybody's minds in America. And that is Elizabeth Warren's proposed wealth tax. And, you know, as far as the wealth tax goes, me, long story short, I'm in favor of it. Tax the wealthy. Tax the rich before we have to eat the rich. That's, that's all I'm saying. Her plan is something like a flat tax on wealth above 50 million every year of 2% that gradually increases until you get to $1 billion of wealth when it becomes a max of 3%. If you make $50 million in $1, then you're literally getting taxed two cents, right? Because it doesn't apply to the first $50 million. And the thing is, it, it's on all assets, real estate, stock holdings, um, like whatever fucking, I don't know, economics, mutual funds, or fucking assets, you know? And it doesn't matter if it's in America or if it's in another country or if it's in the Cayman Islands as well. So it's, they tried to make it immune to a lot of the loopholes that people already use to avoid taxes um, currently. Like, to me, it seems like a no-brainer. Like, yeah, 2% on $50 million or more? Like, that seems like a no-brainer. I mean, especially considering the fact that throughout this pandemic, like, the, the, the top 8 billionaires in this country have um, seen an increase in their total wealth of, like, 10 trillion something ridiculous not 10 trillion maybe like 4 trillion or 2 trillion it's something like that i know it's in the trillions it's in the multiple trillions okay at least at least 2 trillion okay just between these 10 individuals okay meanwhile there's 10 million people unemployed as a result of the pandemic even more that were previously unemployed before the pandemic and like now, if you just want to tax 2% on the wealthiest people in the country, like, what? Now you're freaking Stalin to these people. It's crazy. It's crazy. And, like, to me, the fact that this is considered extreme, like, this is considered, like, radical leftist terrorism. It's crazy. It's the most... Center of the road thing possible. Uh, it's a, literally a moderate tax on the wealthiest individuals. But yet, yeah, it's 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 communism. I mean, it speaks for itself. It speaks for itself, really. There was an article about this in the New York Times. I'm just gonna. Read through it a, a little bit here, uh, making sure that y'all don't see the pornography on my phone. Um, so this was a New York Times article um, written by Jim Tankersley on March 1st, um, yesterday, or published on March 1st. Jim Tankersley. Warren revives wealth tax, citing pandemic inequalities. 
A tax on the net worth of America's wealthiest individuals remains popular with voters, but has yet to be embraced by President Biden. Yeah, no shit. Uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren plans to introduce legislation Monday that would apply a 2% tax to individuals' net worth above $50 million and an additional 1% surcharge above $1 billion. See, like, as far as Biden goes, he needs to just do nothing, and just if the, if the um, Congress passes this thing, which they're not going to, but if they did, all Biden has to do is sit back and not veto it. Like, it's so easy. I mean, he'll still be able to get fucking billions of dollars of lobbying and money and, 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 and speaking fees after he uh, is not president anymore, and he can still let this happen. Like... uniquely situated to be a powerful individual, you know, capable of allowing change, and yet he still probably won't uh, because of a, um, an ingrained neoliberal ideology that's, like, deep to his core. So it's just... Anyway. Washington Senator Elizabeth Warren, Democrat of Massachusetts, introduced legislation on Monday that would tax the net worth of the wealthiest people in America. A proposal aimed at persuading President Biden and other Democrats to fund sweeping new federal spending programs by taxing the richest Americans. Ms. Warren's wealth tax would apply a 2% tax to individual net worth, including the value of stocks, houses, boats, and anything else a person owns. Yes, if we're not already including fucking boats in people's... Um... <laughs> Tax liabilities. Why are we not doing that? Why do they get to have a boat? Uh, there is co-sponsors for Elizabeth Warren's bill in the House um, already. So she's going to offer this bill to the House. It has co-sponsors. I think that means that there's going to be a vote on it. Now, if there is a vote on it, Theoretically, they can pass it through the Senate, right? Or do they need a filibuster for that? I don't know. But budget reconciliation, anyway. So, it's just about political will. And then they point out that this isn't even one of the um, main ways of the, of the government to, to get revenue. Like, the amount of revenue that it actually collects is relatively inconsistent. Um, insignificant compared to other sources of revenue for the government uh, collection. Um, you know, we're talking about a few trillion over the course of 10 years. Um, because it really is only targeting the wealthiest individuals. Like, the thing that you have to understand is that this is part of this is about collecting government revenue, but another part is about just trying to mitigate the extremely high rate of economic um, stratification that is happening. Um, so it's just economic stratification has been exponentially increasing, meaning the wealthiest people are getting extremely wealthy, the rich, wealthiest few people are getting extremely wealthy, and the poorer people are getting poorer faster than ever, okay? And the wealth tax, while yes, it would collect a lot of money for the government, it's also just about trying to one one uh, extra lever to tweak, okay, to slow down the economic stratification that's occurring. It's not just about it's not just about collecting money. It's about a moral and about a and about a practical societal union. Oh, and then they just talk about how we need the money, you know, for stimulus checks, for, 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 for green energy infrastructure, um, for, you know, everything that we want to get done, that, that progressives want to get done, is all just considered as extra money that the government needs to spend every day that the government needs to spend every year that adds to the deficit. But, you know, no, no, no. Why is it framed like that? Why is it that, that we need this money to fund Biden's 
you know, radical left socialist infrastructure? Why can't it just be that we need the money to uh, continue to stay um, with troops in 25 fucking different countries um, around the world at all these different military bases and be making fucking high-tech stealth planes that aren't going to be fucking done being built for 25 fucking years. I don't know. And, you know, Biden um, was against this in the primaries. You know, so, so if it's like pulling hairs, um, just to get Biden to do the things that were actually campaign promises of his, like what, it's already March, and he hasn't done any of his campaign promises except for his day one executive orders, which, you know, nine out of ten of them were just undoing Trump executive orders. If he's not even willing to do the things that he actually campaigned on, why should we expect any amount of charity at all when it comes to something like a wealth tax, which he was explicitly running against in the primary? But Ms. Warren is pushing colleagues to pursue such a plan, which has gained popularity with the public as the richest Americans reap huge gains while 10 million Americans remain out of work as a result of the pandemic. Polls have consistently shown Ms. Warren's proposal winning the support of more than three in five Americans, including a majority of Republican voters. A wealth tax is popular, this is a quote, a wealth tax is popular among voters on both sides for good reason, because they understand the system is rigged to benefit the wealthy and large corporations. Ms. Warren said, and the quote continues, as Congress develops additional plans to help our economy, the wealth tax should be at the top of the list to help pay for these plans because of the huge amounts of revenue it would generate. She said she was confident that lawmakers will catch up to the overwhelming majority of Americans who are demanding more fairness, more change, and who believe it is time for a wealth tax. <coughs> what Warren is saying there is that, yes, look at the polls. An overwhelming majority of Americans, majority of Republicans, are in favor of a wealth tax, which makes sense because the wealth tax only affects a very, very small percentage of Americans. And yet somehow, the lawmakers and Congress people um, have very low favorability of a wealth tax. Even, uh, you know, uh, many Democrats are against it. You know, not to mention the entire Republican Party. Um, you know, meanwhile, a majority, remember, a majority of Republicans in America support a wealth tax. And yet, I guarantee you, there are zero fucking Republican Congress people or senators that are in favor of a wealth tax. So let that sink in. Our elected officials do not represent us. Our elected officials do not represent us. They represent the people who pay them, which are fucking lobbyists, special interests, um, government contractors. Mr. Biden did not propose any tax increase to offset the $1.9 trillion economic aid package that he hopes to sign later this month. Mr. Biden has said he will pay for long-term spending as opposed to a temporary economic jolt with, a tax incre with tax increases on high earners and corporations. Okay, so Biden has said that he wants to increase taxes on the wealthy, but not through a wealth tax. Well then how? How then? How then, Joe? Do you plan to achieve such a thing? I'm all ears. I'm all ears. What's that? Oh, crickets? Yeah, because you're being non-committal on this because you don't actually want to do anything. Business groups and Republicans have already begun to raise concerns about Mr. Biden's tax plans. Those same groups are not fans of Ms. Warren's plan, which was a centerpiece of her 2020 Democratic presidential campaign. 
Critics say the tax would be difficult for the federal government to calculate and enforce, that it would discourage investment, and that it could be ruled unconstitutional by courts. Ms. Warren has amassed letters of support from constitutional scholars who say the plan would pass muster. Okay, so there's some debate over the constitutionality of it, but like, who cares? I mean, if there is a problem with the constitutionality, which there very well might end up being if this ever does end up getting passed because the, the courts have been stacked with, you know, ideologically uh, motivated Republican um, uh, judges for the past 10 years in this country. But, I mean, you know, at least find out. You know, make the Republicans deal with this. Spend political capital, you know, striking it down. Then rub that in their faces when you're running for election. Um, don't just do nothing because, oh, they might be able, the Republicans might be able to thwart it anyway. Like, pfft, how, uh, Wayne Gretzky said you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, okay? And, you know, Wayne Gretzky needs to start giving fucking you know, $100,000 speeches to the Democrats in Congress and fucking tell them that shit. Instead of listening to whatever, the CEO of Goldman Sachs or fucking, you know, Big Oil Inc. Listen to Wayne Gretzky. Miss 100% of the shots you don't take. You know, don't complain about... Oh, the Republicans are blocking everything if you don't even try to pass it in the first place just because you think they are probably going to block it if you do pass it. You can pass stuff now. Pass it. At least do something. Try. Uh, in an email, Mr. Zuckman noted that the disconnect between wealth growth for the ultra-wealthy and wealth growth for most Americans is not a new phenomenon. Yes. Yes, the rich are getting richer, and the middle class and poor are not getting richer. Um, and it's always been that way. The White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki did not answer directly on Monday when asked at a briefing if Mr. Biden supported Ms. Warren's proposal. Oh, really? The Press Secretary did not answer directly. Oh, what a tragedy. And it's not like we had a press secretary just blatantly lying for the past four years. Okay, just... She said, The president strongly believes that the ultra-wealthy and corporation need to start paying their fair share. Okay, well, great. Way to fucking ape Bernie Sanders swag, why don't you? Without fucking... <laughs> having any of the actual credibility that, that Sanders has. Fucking politics is bullshit, man. Shit.